exact ratios. So in trigonometry, we can look at two special triangles to give us some exact ratios that are going to be very useful later on. So if we draw up a triangle, a right angle triangle, an isosceles right angle triangle with sides of 1 and 1, using Pythagoras, we can get this as root 2, and this angle will be 45 degrees, and this angle is 45 degrees. Let's look at another special right angle triangle. where we have 30 degrees over here, 60 degrees over here, this side is 1, this side is 2, and this side ends up being root 3 with Pythagoras. From here we can get some special results. Let's look at sine 45, where it's the opposite. We can use any angle, I'm just going to use this one, where it's the opposite over the hypotenuse, so we get 1 over root 2. What about cos 45? Let's use this angle here, so it's the adjacent over the hypotenuse, which is also 1 on root 2. Let's look at tan 45, where use this angle as the opposite over the adjacent, so it's 1 over 1, which is just 1. So there's our special results from that triangle. Let's look at the other triangle. Let's look at sine 30, where that's going to be the opposite, so we're using 30, the opposite over the hypotenuse. So we just get a half, 1 over 2. Let's look at cos 30, where that's going to be the adjacent over the hypotenuse. So we get root 3 over 2. And tan 30, which is going to be the opposite over the adjacent, so we get 1 over root 3. Let's use our other angle of 60. Do sine first. Sine 60. So using the angle up there of 60, we're going to get the opposite over the hypotenuse, which is root 3 over 2. Let's look at cos 60, where we get the adjacent over the hypotenuse, so 1 over 2, and tan 60, which is going to be the opposite over the adjacent, so we get root 3 over 1, which is just root 3. And we should try and memorize all of these, or at least memorize the triangles, so we can get these on our own. We're just going to look at some other special results. We're going to look at sine 0 is 0, cos 0 is 1, and tan 0 is 0. Sine 90 is 1, Cos 90 is 0, and tan 90 is actually undefined. We can think about some of these like this. Let's look at a triangle. I'm just going to do one. And let's say this is 0 degrees. If it's 0 degrees, that means this distance is zero, and it doesn't matter what the hypotenuse distance is. When we do sine, sine zero is going to be that opposite distance, which is zero, over our hypotenuse distance, and zero over anything is zero. So that's one way to look at it. And you can do similar for all the other ones, but just committing them to memory will be enough. Thank you.